Good morning, Rib Lake Elementary. You are seeing this on Wednesday morning, but it's Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, and I'm looking at the beautiful supermoon in the eastern sky. Now, tonight's full moon is called a supermoon because the moon is at its closest spot to the Earth. And this happens a few times throughout each year. April's full moon is called the pink moon, named after a pink flower that blooms around this time called the ground phlox. And each month has its own special name. For example, June is strawberry moon, September is harvest moon, and December is cold moon. More later on the moon and tonight's full moon. It is now 8.15 and we are seeing the moon larger and brighter. And that is part of what a super moon is all about. It seems much larger because it is closer. Now the moon appears to move across our sky from east to west, but it really is not moving at all. It's because the Earth is actually rotating on its axis from west to east. So the moon, like the sun, appears to move across the sky from east to west. Now occasionally, a month will have two full moons because a full moon occurs every 29 and a half days. So sometimes we'll have a full moon at the beginning of the month and the end. And when there is a second full moon, it's always called a blue moon. A full moon occurs when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth from the sun. And all three are nearly in a straight line. This makes it appear fully lit from our view on earth. Now, as I said, it's a super moon tonight, which means it's closer to the Earth than usual. But that's very relative because the moon is actually about 239,000 miles from the Earth. That means if you and your family could possibly get in your car and drive to the moon somehow, going 60 miles an hour, it would take you about five and a half months to get there without any stops. The moon actually has no light of its own. It simply reflects the sunlight. So the amount of moon that we can see is always in relation to the position of the moon and where the sun and the earth are at that time. The moon is also earth's only permanent natural satellite. Like the earth, the moon has a rocky surface, but unlike the earth, Gravity is much weaker on the moon. Gravity is that force that keeps you down on the ground. So if you were on the moon, that gravity would cause you to weigh a lot less, about one-sixth of your weight. That means if Mr. Blomberg was on the moon, he would weigh about as much as one of his first grade students. I hope you enjoyed the full moon last night. By the way, as the moon is approaching a full moon, we call it a waxing moon. And the right side of it is always lit first. After a full moon, we call it a waning moon. And the right side disappears first. A little bit about the moon. Have a great day.